Good day and peace be with you. Today's Friday, the 13th of May, 2022. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you ever so much for bringing us to the end of another working week. Lord, throughout this week, there are many times when we have been distracted. Distracted by worthless things. Today we pray, Lord, that you would turn our eyes away from worthless things. Preserve our lives according to your word. Reveal anything to us that is hindering us from walking in victory. We pray that we have eyes to see worldly distractions for what they are. We pray for eyes to see with an eternal perspective. Align our hearts and your will, O Lord. Give us freedom over temptations and distractions that threaten to close our relationship with you. Let us grow in love over all the things that you love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for reflection today is taken from Deuteronomy 13 verses 1 to 11. And the theme is, serve only the Lord your God and fear him alone. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. If a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a sign or wonder, and if the sign or wonder spoken of takes place and the prophet says, let us follow other gods, gods you have not known, and let us worship them, you must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul. It is the Lord your God you must follow, and follow him you must revere. Keep his commands and obey him, serve him and hold fast to him. That prophet or dreamer must be put to death for inciting rebellion against the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. That prophet or dreamer Try to turn you from the way the Lord your God commanded you to follow. You must purge the evil from among you. If your very own brother or your son or daughter or the wife you love or the closest friend you have secretly entices you saying, let us go and worship other gods, gods that are neither you or your ancestors have known, gods of the peoples around you, whether near or far, from one end of the land to another. Do not yield to them or listen to them. Show them no pity. Do not spare them or yield to them. You must certainly put them to death. Your hand must be the first in putting them to death and then the hands of all the people. Stone them to death because they try to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Then all Israel will hear and be afraid, and no one among you will do such an evil thing again. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Do remember to share the good news with others. Have a blessed day. Amen.